how moving I find that. And I'm from the U.S. as well, you know, the extraordinary story. Um, we're going to just flesh out this, uh, this Glee Club. Uh, it's quite often that we get various alums together, but this is a particularly wonderful pairing. So we're going to invite the 66 guys to spread yourself across the stage, as we were. The current Glee Club are going to join in. And I'm going to tell a little story, which I've told many times, but it's about Tom Sokol. This professor right here. So give him a room. <laughs> So when we thought about what piece we could sing together with uh, the Glee Club of today and the Glee Club of 50 years ago, there was really no argument. It had to be the piece which has been so strongly associated with this group now for about 45 years, which is the Franz Spiegel Ave Maria. Tom Sokol took many other tours with the men of the Cornell Glee Club throughout his time here. And one was to Europe, uh, where, as I've, I hope I get the story right now that I'm doing it in your presence, uh, he met the composer Franz Spiegel, who handed him a stack of music and said, here is some of my music. This is sometimes good news when the composer does that. But in this case, there was a real treat amid the stack, the Franz Spiegel's seventh part of Ave Maria, which he had written for his choir and another choir from, I believe, a fireman's house down the road. And uh, uh, Professor Sokol was wise enough to see immediately that it was a real gem, brought it back to America with the Glee Club, performed it many times, and every other men's chorus in America said, yes, we'll have that too. <laughs> and uh, I made it their own as well. It's one of the great, great pieces for a men's uh, choir of the uh, 20th century. And I'm so thrilled, after many performances, to finally have a chance in person to thank Professor Sokol for going through that stack and finding the gem.